Live and direct, we come and never pre-recorded With information that will never be reported Disregard the mainstream, media distorted We come and listen and support it Hey, what's up, beautiful people? This is Zach Sweat with Eternal Strength. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eternal Strength Pirate Radio, and please be sure to check back each week as new episodes will be released. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody got super quiet when I hit record. Instant now, nerves. why is that? I don't know. It's um, because, it's dude, the we, red asked, light. we asked some of the toughest questions that have ever been asked. We asked some heavy hitting questions. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. It was all rainbows and puppy dogs and ice cream <laughs> out there, but in here, <laughs> ladies, it's a different story. I'm just playing. I'm ready. Last uh, last podcast we did. When was that? Last week? Mm -hmm. This week? Last week, know. anyways. We had Todd Stumbo and Graham Skinner from Blue Ridge Mountain Recovery. Mm -hmm. And you guys, have you ever met Todd? I've met Graham. I have not right. met Todd. Todd's got the thickest Southern accent. <laughs> but He's my, awesome. My point is, I thought I was super prepared, and I prepared these intros for them, and I did Todd's, and it was like all the information was outdated as fuck. <laughs> so it was like that's incorrect. Yeah, that's incorrect. <laughs> that's actually changed. So today, I'm gonna <laughs> let you guys explain to our listeners and our, our watchers out there. Um, who you are. Okay. Um, but you guys are from here. I'm going to let you do it. Go. You go. Okay. <laughs> Name. On the spot. Where oh. you where you were born. Then I want to know about the That's first year of your God. life. You're that early cosmos, childhood development. The whole yep. cosmos. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Ready. Year. <laughs> um, I am Kristen Raymond. <laughs> I know. Um, mom of three is probably my proudest accomplishment. Um educator forever and really that's my whole life um a lot of people have extra hobbies and things like that but for me it's all about mm. being with the kids so started in um public schools and did that for i don't know 15 years something teacher special education all the things and everything was broken and what i realized was it was the relationships that mattered and in those settings, a lot of times that's what's frowned upon. And, you know, it's it's the sheer numbers and protection and things like that. And so you have to be really careful. I was going to leave the field and found Fusion. So I've been doing that for the past three years. And outside of that, I love music and sitting in my hot tub in the mountains. And those are awesome. You, you enjoy Instagram. the beach. Travel. I love the beach. I feel like every time I look at Instagram, I'm like, I, she, I see the hot tub. Cruising. Cruising. There's the hot tub and then yes. like a picture Kara, of her foot yes. by all Kara the Karen actually yeah. thought that was her yeah. vacation. I was like, that's where she lives. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> that's every where she day. Experiences. Every day. So, yeah, just like figuring out now that um, the kids are grown, finally figuring out like who I am. Mm. So I can't give you a whole lot more detail because I haven't figured it out yet. No worries. That's where I, I am. That, that was a great That's, that's good. That's that's a, I, I love the synopsis. You don't take like an hour like he does. Like, no. Well, back in my no. early years. I no, that's right. And I have a, I have a, <laughs> West, I have a doctorate from the University of West Georgia. In your face. And is that an in your face type yeah, of thing? Yeah, it it well, is. it's an it's encouragement. It's an thing. encouragement and growth thing. It I is know. not an in your face. I, it it's is a, a gut check. For I, good, you'll good be for glad you. to know that I reached out to Hans and Kathy and I said, <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm writing. And, you know, they want me to integrate in what we've done at the center and then really trying to kind of like suss out and define radical youth work. So I'm very excited about that. But, man, I'm. Don't do it. Yeah. I'm just Don't go down that I'm, rabbit hole. I'm, I'm just trying to You're encourage him. Just <laughs> trying there. to encourage him. Well, if Zach would pick Same. up some slack so Same. I could go write for a week. I tell him I tell him he can. I wrote a book in the time that you've been writing your dissertation and Pascal published it. <laughs> you talking about that breadsticks thing? Come on. Um, we use the breadsticks <laughs> thing. Their school uses my That's book. That's right. Isn't we, it a great It's actually we in we two use, schools. We use the breadsticks. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's delicious. Um, and with <laughs> my own fifteen year old, use breadsticks. Thank you very much. That's so awesome, you, man. Thank so you, currently, mm -hmm. you were you were the head of school yes. for Fusion in Alpharetta. In Alpharetta in the mm -hmm. Avalon, mm -hmm. very nice building, very nice area. Yes, and you guys rock. Um, <laughs> we have amazing teachers and amazing kids, and that's what makes it rock. And then we Pretty got much. Sarah. And then we have Sarah. Yes, I am Sarah. I am <laughs> Who director. Are you? I am the face of Fusion in Atlanta. Yes. 
pretty that's much. A, that's a good way to put it. Um, I am the director of outreach for Buckhead and Alpharetta, so the second campus down in Buckhead. Okay. Um, so that's why she claimed just Alpharetta. I am also a mother of three. Uh, two are still in the home, twin boys. Okay. Um, have been in education pretty much my whole career also, but I'm more on the customer service and business side. And when I found Fusion, it made sense because I was that parent going through everything with my nephew that we adopted. So I had that blend of what our perfect (laughs) parents and scenarios are, Mm -hmm. and it made sense. So taking my knowledge of education on the customer service side and building it into what the foundation of what families need is my why. And that's what I do. I go out in the community build those relationships, find some amazing people like you to help our kids and continue to help them be successful when we are working on the education piece and they need that extra support. So that's that's, awesome. Yeah. And you came and saw us. You were very brave and courageous (coughs) in the throes of coronavirus first stage. (laughs) What was it? Maybe summer. No, it was still cold. But you brought us some really cool pink fusion mask and we rocked those for a while. You rocked those for a while. Yeah. (laughs) Those were good. Those were good. Those were good. And I just noticed your earrings. Those are fire. Yes. As the kids would say. Those are actually feathers. It's a vibe. Not fire. I'm just playing. (laughs) If you want to call them fire, it's fine. It's dope. They're dope. (laughs) They're awesome. (laughs) But man, we. So welcome, yeah. We can't thank you all enough. Sarah keeps me straight. She keeps everything in order and in line. Corrects me when I say the wrong. Yeah, you you are me at Fusion. She is. And you were you. Ah. Yes. I can't help it. It's yeah, it's like the way my Bill mind works, Ted's. too. It's like, I, lo- I love the operator. What is the Bill and Ted's? Bill and Ted's, when they find each other. Remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yes, and then they, they show up and they see themselves and they talk to themselves. What if that's this? I mean, it could be. <laughs> we have boys <laughs> with the same names. That was weird. Y'all do? When yeah. I interviewed Sarah, we were just talking about, like, family and things like that. And I was like, so I've got three boys, Mo, Dylan, Cade. And she was like... In her face, we were on Zoom because it was COVID. And she was no, like, it wasn't COVID. Oh, no, it wasn't. Mm-mm. You just didn't live here. No, you just moved into the mountain house. That's what it was. I moved. Okay. <laughs> we were on Zoom. I remember everything. everything's a time warp now <laughs> since COVID. Everything's a time warp. Nice. Um, but yeah, and she and her face got, and she was like, that's my son's names. And I was like, well, Mo and Dylan. Like, that's not a common. No. That's trippy. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? That's meant to be. So she got a job. Synchronicity <laughs> to, the, to the yeah. fullest. Yeah. So she <laughs> she got, came home and she was like, quick, yeah. change the boys' names. Yeah. I just lied to get a job. <laughs> 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 That's good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to hire me, man. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. It's but like a horrible sitcom yeah. like <laughs> or a movie plot. like. <laughs> Got my kids in for fake. Y'all are our people, man. Yeah, for sure. Fusion is always good energy, and it's and like you said, it's serendipitous. It's you know we didn't move to this location to try and be close to anywhere. We just found this building. It felt right. We went there energetically. But what Fusion's done is everything that we can't do in terms of academic support, the journey of school curriculum. Um, and the way that you guys approach the human soul and these young people on their developmental journeys is the most important part. You see yeah. them, and then you start to, from that lens, look at what support do they need, and it's not just scholastic mm-hmm. and academic. It's how does this person see the world, where are they at developmentally, where are they at emotionally, psychologically, and, and then... How can we best get them receptive to learning and how they learn? Their particular epistemological. Right, you just fucked up my first question. <laughs> you fucked up. Did I really? I can't say it any better than that. So, Right on. I was going to use big uh, PhD words. I was going to be like, their epistemological and ontological framework blends into the pedagogy that they live. Correct. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Correct. We don't all have PhDs. <laughs> We're in the process of it. I don't know. Yeah. No, I was going to ask, table. like, what, you know, you guys, you, you mentioned something earlier, and you mentioned something earlier about, like, what you were, like, you could feel yourself in the... um same type of space as other parents, and that's why you chose Fusion and chose to go mm-hmm. and, and be a part of their team. And then you said something about the system being broken. So it's like what what Fusion is doing, what Wes just mentioned, like your approach to that. What makes you guys 
um, different, I suppose, or like your approach different or how you, how are you guys doing it different to disrupt the industry of education and the process of it? And the whole tagline with fusion. And when I first saw it, I was like, you know, people say things right. And the tagline is it's a revolutionary way to school. And I was like, well, what does that even mean? Mm. And until you really get in there, you can't see it. And, you know, Wes has all his PhD words, right? But it's simple. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Love, motivate, teach. It's the relationship. That's right. And that's what makes all the difference in the world at Fusion. Do we have an amazing (coughs) curriculum? Can we give rigorous instruction to kids that want to go to four-year universities? Can we give kids, you know, that are not on that track, um, a lower level of rigor that's appropriate for them for what, yes, okay, we can do the school stuff, right? And we do it really, really well. But the reason we can do it so well is because of our teachers that are in that building that love those kids first. So you meet them where they are. I mean, it's like you, on my, in my office, there's, you know, the sign, you know, from come as you are. And that's, that's exactly how we feel. Yeah. Come as you are. We're going to figure out what it is that is holding you back from your potential, help you find that passion, help you find that drive, help you figure out why you haven't been engaged and connected. Because what we find over and over and over again, and you guys hear this because you're working with half of our, half of our kids, <laughs> right? Um, but what we hear over and over and over again is they don't care about me. They're not listening. Yeah. It's stupid. In other words, they're giving them busy work that doesn't mean anything to yeah. them. It's not relevant, right? And we don't do that to them. Are you saying the education system is outdated out there? <laughs> I mean, is that what you're saying? A little, it hasn't no. changed. Maybe a little. Maybe you. A little. And now, yeah. now, I will say this. I worked in the public schools for a long time, and my yeah. husband's still there. Mm-hmm. There are some amazing public school educators no and administrators doubt. that are out there fighting like hell. But they're also right. I mean, as you know, you're probably about to say this, but they're they're limited in what they exactly. can and cannot do because they're exactly. under this certain business model or structure that doesn't allow them to. Well, just this year, numbers, numbers with, right? Yeah. With this my year, my nephew, that's numbers. exactly what yeah. I dealt with. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, but yeah, no. it's just your numbers. So, yeah, he was part of the system. Was going to go to a school because of his the way his psyche valve was written, and it took us as parents advocating, questioning right. what that looked like, and why can he not go to school, or why can yep. he not get a yep. call or a high school diploma. And had we not asked those questions, he just would have fallen into the funnel. Yeah. Yeah. And And some parents don't know the questions to ask and don't Mm -hmm. know how to fight it, right? Like if you don't don't know know or that you even can, right? And if you've gone through the system yourself and failed, right? Mm -hmm. Or felt intimidated by that system as a student, right? You you know, and a lot of those parents, that's what's happened. So they're scared to even to even ask the questions because they're going back into that system that failed them. Yeah. And yeah. now we're going to go push back on it. They don't even know how. Right. And so, you know, a- again, there are people that, that truly fight and I think do really, really good work in those schools, but just the sheer volume and numbers, that's what makes Fusion beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's one-on-one. I have a brand new teacher right now that started teaching for the first day yesterday. He was in public schools for two years, then went and like sold insurance because that's how bad he wanted just yeah, like yeah. out of the system. Yeah. Right. Um, yesterday was his first day teaching with us. He's been training for a couple weeks and, um, sat down with him. How was your first day? Right. And he's like, I had a kid thank me for class. (laughs) He was like, that was weird. (laughs) And then he was like, then he was like, every kid though, Chris, every one of them, like I'm asking these questions that are open for discussion. He said, if I had done that, you know, in my public school, he said, it's crickets. He said, they start talking because they're not afraid. Yep. Of the judgment yep. of the peers around them, because you know these are teenagers, right. yep. they're not afraid to be wrong. They're they're willing to take a risk because it's just the two of them in there, and they're building that relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Public school is not their fault, right? But you can't do that in the class of thirty two. Yep. And so yeah, yeah. it's just it's <clears throat> what we can provide is powerful and and transformative. And watching the transformation gives me so much life and inspiration and excitement and joy and. Tears and lots of tears mm-hmm. today. Yeah. You've been crying a lot today, all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a, in, yeah. A, in a happy in way. A happy way. Them, in a very happy way. Yes, You're, in a very like, happy way. The the teachers, because I'm glad you leave with that point. In the public school system, there are brilliant, yes. brilliant, yeah, 
teachers, educators, but man, the system, I've, you know, the stories of um, Allison's mom was in the public school system for years. Her grandfather was superintendent and like the stories of teachers spending their own money to get classroom. Like you're talking about bleeding hearts. They care for their kids. They're doing everything they can, but they're fighting against a larger systemic. My husband's challenge. still in the system. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, this is your 29. He has a year and a half Man. left. Damn. And it's so stark to watch like when we come home, right. And share the stories and talk mm-hmm. and you know, what they're doing is incredibly powerful too. And he is, uh, he's one of the good ones. Um, I mean, he, he is, and he's got this co-teacher that's a second year teacher and she's already getting burned out. Cause can you imagine your second year teacher and you've been in COVID this whole time yeah. and all of the things, Whoa. right. But she's so passionate about these kids and he comes home and he's like, Chris, we got to go get candy. We got to go get this. We, and we're buying it. Right. Yep. Like yep. Yeah. at fusion, I'm very fortunate. I don't have to do that. My teachers don't have to do that, right. but they do. Yep. I mean, all the supplies, all the, you know, and it's a very poor rural, you know, area, but they, they care and they're trying, but you know what we can do. And I, you know, I wish it could be, um, you know, I wish we could share more yeah, of, yeah. of fusion and what, Fusion does, and Fusion is expanding and growing and finding new ways. We've got a flex program now. We have all these other ways. Well, that's what I was going to say. This all is the, it. You guys you know, are this is it. supplementing in other ways, mm-hmm. too, with the tutoring program that yes. you told us about. So yeah. even kids that are in the public school system but need additional support, one-on-one stuff, the tutoring, something to supplement on top of. And then you made the point earlier You know, maybe there's kids that are in the public school system and it's going okay and they're involved in a ton of extracurriculars and they have all this and the best move isn't for them to leave what they've been embedded in. You guys can still help and support and be there. And so all the expansion that Fusion's doing, I just, I get excited because there's plenty of people that sit on the sidelines and critique this system government, society, culture, the school system, the mental health system. And it's like you can keep doing that all day, critiquing, criticizing, deconstructing, naming the problem, pointing the finger, or you can actually go create something that will begin to be part of the system and yeah. shift it in a different way. And that's what Fusion's doing. It's awesome. And we can do it because we've got y'all. Because mm. we're not therapeutic. You know, and we talk about that all the time. Um, what we provide is that, that safe, sacred space. You guys provide that therapy part. Do we provide we therapy? You do. No, we don't label it as that. <laughs> okay, joking. whatever you it's want to call healing. it. No, Quick. It's <laughs> You're healing. <laughs> You're healing. Give me some big words, Wes. Um, there you go. <laughs> the partnership that we have had with you guys mm. has been incredibly powerful for our kids and for our team because we can reach out to you guys whenever we need to. I mean, Wes, how many times have I texted you at nine o'clock at night? Right. Um, because the kid, you know, the kids don't schedule their, their breakdowns (laughs) or their their crises. Right. Um, and you guys are there and you're there for them and they know it's safe. I mean, it's so cool for me to come up here. I mean, just now, right. To come up here and like see our kids and, and when you guys come to our building and they see you, right. And also, they're not, like, ashamed of that either, right? Like, they love they're repping. to be, yeah. they are. They love to be at Eternal Strength. Yep. They love to be at Fusion. Mm-hmm. And the cool thing is now, you know, we've got some med consultants, right, that mm-hmm. that are working with both of us and referring to both of us almost yep. as, like, a package lately, right? Like, they mm-hmm. call me and they're like, okay, it's going to be Eternal Strength and it's going to be Fusion. Yep. And it's yeah. because it's working so incredibly well. And our kids are proud of it. Yeah. And there, when they realize and see each other at school, and they've seen each other here, mm. right? They're like, oh, my God, right? And they're so proud of that. Oh, that's special. Oh, man. <laughs> it really is. Wouldn't <laughs> it be cool to make that the norm <clears throat> where, you know, my education is important to me, and I want to rep who, who's, who's providing that to me. And also my mental health, you know, is important, and whoever's providing me with that and gives me a space for that, mm-hmm. that's cool, too. You know what I mean? It's, it yeah. is special. And they're like, hey. Mm. I got, I got class from here to here. I'm going to eternal strength at one thirty. you know, they're, they're sharing awesome. their schedules and they're hanging out. And then how cool too, that that's their day. Yep. Yeah. That they're half day with us, you know, a couple hours, half day here with y'all. And to know that that's where these teens are spending their time. Yeah. And it's, it's what you said. Sure. The vibe is the same. So like when you come in here and we got a music studio and there's some freedom and creative expression, it's not like then you go to school at fusion and it's just cool. You guys have 
a, a music studio. Very, you guys have nice. that. So it's <laughs> yeah. like it's yeah. the continuation yeah. of we get yeah. clients that are coming up here and going, let me show you what music I made yes. at yes. Fusion and then working on stuff here. It's it's a beautiful one. I think it comes back to what you said. Love. Motivate. Motivate. motivate <laughs> teach. And and I That's man, I, I think it's beautiful. That's it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it is like That's all it. I got, y'all. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so to wrap up, let's ask some of the tough questions. Wes is good at this. Okay. Sarah, These you got hard these. Okay. Sarah, yeah, Sarah. I, I have confidential information that was revealed to me today it comes by you. 15-part question. About oh, yes. a movie called 50 First States, Adam Sandler movie. And what? 10 Second Tom. You remember him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's beginning to introduce old school comedy movies to her sons yeah. set up the basement to oh, TV yeah. school, chill spot but nice. my question is you personally mm-hmm. favorite film of all time oh, that's hard I always used to say 16 candles because that was an easy go to okay so with Ducky no that that's that's pretty in pink whoops oh, yeah I was like oh, but um what's her <laughs> name like, still in that the same actress yes um, Molly Ringwald Molly Ringwald from Breakfast Club my is that roommate John? Was her nanny, which is always kind of a fun oh, wow. connection. Okay. Is that John? That's a John Hughes film. John Hughes film. He ran that game mm-hmm. for breakfast a long time. Club, yep. Breakfast. We had it campus this morning. We did. We have Breakfast Club every breakfast Thursday. Breakfast Club was awesome. That yep. end scene, man. Yes. You that like uh, 80s what's kid that guy? Heart. Duh, you already Judd, know. Judd. Yeah. Judd Nelson. That's yeah, that your guy. My favorite character. <laughs> you missed the conversation in the room with the tacos about never ending story. Yeah, Ooh. I watched that last night. Nineteen eighty four. Classic film, not my favorite. Yeah, I wasn't a fan either. Well, I mean, I was a fan as a child. Watched it again. Pure dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst. And that was the conversation. It was, was it the Labyrinth? worst movie I've ever seen. I was like, you're you, yeah, but you're hard on old movies. Cool. I am, but it's just Labyrinth's it's the amazing. amount, it's yeah. the progression, it's the advance in technology that we use for film and stuff and yeah. and, and graphic design. It's it's really sad to watch. Well, it made me got, sad. We gotta ask Chris. Favorite film, all time. Okay, this one's embarrassing. Uh-oh. Spill it. Billy Madison. <laughs> That's okay. a great movie. Okay. Education, come on. come on. There we go. It has <laughs> a little bit humor. of everything, yeah. <laughs> so there's a- I am obsessed with Adam Sandler. He's he's brilliant. He's he is brilliant. brilliant. What about Uncut Gems? Have you seen that? No. Man, he plays a serious role in that. He's a great Uncut actor. Gems. That's one of that. I <laughs> had anxiety through the whole movie. I was pulled into that movie, okay. and it's an amazing I'm movie. That my phone when What's he doing? Over. He's betting. He's making. No, he's yeah, he's he's a it. hardcore gambler, and he he deals like in gems and diamonds. So he has this jewelry shop in New York, and he's just it's it's okay, really good. That's what I'm doing. It's this not weekend. typical good. Adam Sandler. I'm watching it this weekend, yeah. I love Adam my Sandler. Kids love Adam Sandler. Love Adam he's Sandler. Genius. My mom was so tired of that movie. <laughs> Like, and the fact that she let me watch it as many times as she did, yeah. like, mom, shout out to you. It's awesome. Um, I, I don't, and it's so, it's again, right? Like now watching it, I'm like, yeah. why do I look? <laughs> but I like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's brilliant. It's a good choice. And if it's not that, it's Grease. Cause you know, okay, really inappropriate, like didn't age well. Right. But <coughs> right. Right. Like, but Billy Madison, what man, I, that's the one where uh, Chris Farley's the bus driver. Yeah. And the one young kid pees his pants mm-hmm. and he's like, it's cool to pee your pants. That's, that's, that's a great scene. There's it's a, a, great that's a scene. beautiful message and it is. in there. And they're all eating. Right. It's like, like, we can all be cool and yeah. it's okay. And like, he let's goes be over to that kid and, and he brings, yes, he brings it everyone the underlying in. message. It was. I didn't realize it. It is. It really is. A, <laughs> I mean, there is some beauty to it's that. Okay, it's, it's okay to pee your pants. It's okay to pee your pants. It's fine. Everybody pants. I'm going for it. And we're going to accept you even if you do it. It's fun. It's okay. Let's all do it. So 16 candles. It might have been like what we had on VHS. And so I just kept on putting it on. Yeah, okay, and then it. Billy Madison, mm-hmm. I go, I go here with it. Okay, I'm gonna one up you, ladies. You're gonna scare mm-hmm. us. Okay. I already Ready. know. Casino. Okay, do you know I've never Hands seen off. Casino? Yo, get Isn't out of my building. <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah, "Get off it's my a, podcast." It's a few hours. <laughs> Scorsese, like you got Sharon Stone, you got De Niro, yeah. you got James Woods, you got Joe Pesci, you got Don Rickles. I've got a lot of movie watching to do this weekend. Please watch that movie. It's based. It is supposed to. What? Yes. It is. It's going to snow and this ice is, and this on, is, on Sunday. This That's is awesome. Dumb. This is the dumbest thing I've ever Not heard. Not just snow. No, wait a minute. Aren't you too. supposed to wear your pajamas backwards in order to increase the 
Statistical what? chance. That's what the lady at uh, the school yeah, box that matters. told me. I took the girls to the school box to get some stuff, and she said, remember to wear your pajamas? I, I don't think she dude. worked there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was an employee, man. <laughs> you know, you're turning your pajamas backwards. It's going to snow. <laughs> Thanks for the books. <laughs> I just sound a little. Okay, I'll Google that later, Wes. Okay, so yeah, I'm watch saying, Casino. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay, run watching it. Casino. Sixteen Wes? Candles. Billy Madison. Favorite, Casino. My favorite movie of all time is called Lady in the Water, and it's an M Night Shalama uh-huh. Shalama Shyamalan. 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 Yeah. And that's why we named Story Story. Okay. Oh, I love. There's that. a There's a character in there, and she's a Madame Narf, and she comes from the sea, and she's part of the water people, and it's a children's book that he developed into this beautiful movie and like i can only watch it so many times but at the end there's this it's a beautiful film the critics hated it but at the end there's a healing scene and this guy's lost his wife and been through trauma and he heals this madam narf with a collective group of people behind him i'll cry talking about it. it's like Crap. they all put their hands on him and he channels them and starts to think about his wife who passed away and he's like, oh, I miss your face. It reminds me of God and this beautiful, and she heals, and they all heal, and it's like this. You don't want to watch it with me. Okay, I'm now like, I want to watch that, too. Make a list. I, Lady I think, yeah, in the Water. This is happening. Have you ever seen Captain Fantastic? Yes. That with one's Steve's beautiful, on too. And, uh, yep. That Vill- remind like, you saying that, like, that's, like, that kind of healing, yeah, yeah. like, beautiful story. That's you, a good you, one, too. You might like Captain Fantastic. It's I cool. keep scrolling over. I'm like, eh. It's, it's beautiful. I've been watching. I watch. I lo- there's some movies out there um, that I haven't watched that I should watch. You know, like classic. It's like, oh, you haven't seen that? Like, who are you? Like Casino. Like Casino, <laughs> yeah. But like Taxi Driver. I watched that the other day. Never seen it. And it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, Clockwork Orange. I tried yeah. to do well, that. That's I just, it. I'd go easy on that. Couldn't I mean, do that's it. a heavy, just my psychologically just, disturbing film. I just couldn't make it through. I was like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Yeah, I didn't watch that one either. Uh, <laughs> my favorite Scorsese was uh, Bringing Out the Dead with Nicolas Cage as the ambulance driver. Did you guys ever watch that? Oh, man, I love that. I fell in love with that. That was a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like the guys that are like on the edge of like a breakdown. Absolutely. They're tired. I've they're always, stressed out. Ethan Hawke in Brooklyn's Finest. That's a good. That's, that's a good. That's just living on that wire, man. And that's not like, healthy. Well, who said it? Health is the goal. <laughs> well, you can't enjoy life if you're unhealthy. Yeah, who said enjoying life is the goal? Here we go. So what's the goal? Yeah, Help, what is the goal, Wes? People. What is the goal? Helping people. So how are you going to help people if you're not healthy? Helping people. If you're not, yeah, if people you're not do healthy. that all the time, dude. Stressed out. I know. You know what? And that's a good point. It's people do do that all the time, and they show up. You just said do-do. They do-do. What are you, <laughs> 10 years old? Sam, what are we doing here? You've you got 10 year old boys. Say, you can say the word, right, you you say the word fart and you're going <laughs> to yeah. laugh too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, don't say that. But what I'm saying is, a lot of people do show up in an unhealthy way and they present themselves like that to the world. And a lot yeah, of these exactly. people are. Don't worry, I'm healthy and I'm taking care of A lot of, of these people, not, not just you, I'm just, not you, I'm just saying people in general that who are in the That's education so system, who are in the therapeutic industry, they do show up. They're not taking care of themselves and they show up to do this work and it comes out in their work. You know yeah. what I mean, and I think that's You're that's, right. that's a, right. a lot of the reasons mm-hmm. why a lot of um, the education system and therapeutic industry is affected because a lot of people aren't taking You're care right. of themselves outside of what they're trying to do for their their clients. Well, but you guys know that's hard. Yes, the boundaries are hard, right? And it's yeah. hard to cut it off when you are dealing with things that are emotional. And that matter to you so deeply. And you're yeah. talking about someone's life, right? Like you're mm-hmm. talking about a yeah. kid's life, you know, with what we do, mm-hmm. all of us. It's Excuse hard me. to shut that down. Yeah. It ta- it's, it's a practice in certain ways. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a preventative maintenance sort of deal. You have to do something every day to nurture that and to feed that where you're going to be presented with a situation where you're not doing the preventative maintenance and you're going to fucking collapse. So what do you do, Zach? Like, what do you do? It's, it's any like me personally, I make sure I have time to myself every single day, whether that be an hour or two, what's going to fulfill me? Like, what's my obligation to me? How do I fulfill myself after I maybe I, I show up here and I do that? I show up for you do your morning routines, so my morning huge. routine. I just take time. I take time to write a little bit each day. I take time to learn a little bit each day. I take time to take care of my body a little bit each each day a little bit 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 okay i take i take it back and it can be i like the healthy thing but i like the look of the dude with like the cigarette yeah but on the low so i'll be healthy but i like that guy who 
was just I wasn't even, your friend. I wasn't like, even trying to look. target you about it. You just you brought up a good point yeah. because yeah. a lot of people play that role and they put on this suit like, oh, I, I am this thing. And really you behind the scenes, the talk. you're not doing your work, mm-hmm. man. It's going to show up eventually. Yeah. Like we said earlier, that you're, that real person is going to show up in some scenario and yeah. it's going to be one you're going to fucking hate. It's going to show up and it's going to suck. Yeah. Um, I have found it <laughs> so important. Sarah is amazing with this. And Jenna, um, RD is just having the team yeah. to call you on it when you're not. Yeah. Right. And right? Like that accountability. Because it's, it's so easy just to keep going and to have people to be like, okay, we're going to stop. We're going to do this. We're going to, you know, like, I, let's I was going to say that at the beginning or when you were talking earlier. It's like I used to, when I was in the campus a lot more, I'd be like, hey, you drank water today? Hey. Where's right. the boundary? Cut it off. Cut it off. And she's done. Like, amazing. <clears throat> that's huge. To, like, be able to say what, what that is. And that's for that piece of our campus and yeah. the trust with our staff. And mm-hmm. the team that she's built yep. is just the foundation. You can't yeah. do it alone. Collective. It's the team yeah. collective yeah. support yeah. Yeah. of yeah. you but guys. And each one of these people who have those types of habits, like, I have the habit of doing all the things that I do, and maybe I can show up, and, and I can, it's like what Ram Dass said the other day, and like, um, yeah. you Gandhi, want me to repeat it? I know Gandhi was like, it, like, hey, write something, like, what's your message? He said, my life is my message. That's my message. So, like, how are you living your life for that to be your message? So, if you are the type of people or type of person that is healthy and wants to drink water and take care of yourself, you're going to share that with others, you know? And if you have a whole tribe of people like that, fuck, man, everybody can be elevated up. Mm-hmm. That's Five what fusion is. you surround yourself with. Yep. Yep, there you go. Yep. Choose wisely. They? It's beautiful. <laughs> Choose wisely. Choose wisely. You guys, yes. any la- you. Any lasting uh, shout-outs or it's your birthday yeah, weekend. shout-outs. Anything y'all, y'all want to say before uh-huh. we close who, who this out? Who do you guys want to shout out? Oh, this lovely lady <laughs> celebrating her 30th. 30th hey. birthday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 30. That's what the cake said. Mm-hmm. So. That's what the cake said. We're going to go with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to go with it. Um, is that fake news? Mm, I'm just yeah. I'm just that's fake news. No, it is my 40th. I'm okay with it. It is my 40th. That's awesome. Um, you know what Carl Jung said, right? No, what? Mm. He said, everything before 40 is just research. I totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. I will say that every when you year, start right? Like every year, the older, every year it gets better. Oh, every it comes the real better. fun. Yeah. You thought you were having yeah. fun? No. Mm-mm. Well, you're just gonna. that self-awareness, right? <laughs> yep. And like being able to, I don't know, it's cool. Um, shout outs. I would say that goes back to our conversation earlier. The learning when you, you know, yeah. going through different situations. Yes. The learn of the yeah. other Y'all, side. I have, mm-hmm. when I tell you I have the best team. Sorry, eternal strength. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Team fight. Okay. We get them in a boxing. Oh, they box each other. So good. See who wins. Reality show, podcast. Got a lot of ruffians on our right. show. <laughs> yeah, I, was <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure table. Fusion would lose ping pong, ping pong tournament. There ping you go. Okay. Ping pong tournament. Okay. I'll go with the so, HR wow. okay. aspect. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I got you guys. I mean, I you guys want to fight? <laughs> I have the most amazing team and the most amazing kids and just our families. Y'all. Shout out Fusion team. Shout man. out yeah. Fusion it's team. Beautiful. They are they are doing the work awesome. every single day. They're doing the work. Awesome. I believe it. We be, you know we yeah. believe it. That people sing your praises, man. Everything every mm-hmm. every person that we cross that has come in contact with you guys always has something super positive. Well, and same for y'all. And cool. shout out to you guys and thank you guys. You have believed in us from day one. Ditto. Um, yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, and it's Facts. just been incredible to watch both. Um, the center grow and yeah. fusion grow and watch just the impact that's having on our community is there's not words. It's beautiful. No words. Sarah, shout outs. This lady, I told you. <laughs> okay. And then what she was saying though, is that, you know, the team, the students, the parents today was her, you know, they celebrated her birthday on campus and it wasn't just the staff saying we got to do this for our head of school. Cause that's her title. Mm. It was the kids, the kids put it together they made a meal that she would like or enjoy because it was her. It's awesome. And they didn't have to do that. Yeah. We talk about the teenagers who have coming from the different environments that they came from, but they do it because it's her. Yeah. And because of the comfort space that they've that she's created on campus with the team members, and I'm saying her and her and her, but <laughs> she does have the say on the hiring. And she's screened those individuals, each yeah. and every one of them that has come through that door. And created that family and that community that's there. And it makes it so much easier. I tell them every day. It's awesome. It makes it so much easier for me to tell your story when I hear the foundation of everything going on. So it was the kids today that put that together for her. So she's created it. And it's such a blessing to be 
pop. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now we're crying. Here we go. We got the tears. Mark it at 34 That's minutes awesome, and 21 man. seconds. There were okay. tears. Yes, talk, tears. Talk <laughs> amongst yourselves. Go yeah. talk. That's a good that's a good note to end it on. A good high note. Good well, before energy. we go, I'd like to do a Frank Sinatra esque version of Happy Birthday. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to hear that. No, just I don't know. Come on. You're gonna no, no, you're, you're a crooner. Where's your radio voice? You got that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I can't sing. You don't want to hear that. Okay. It'll you ruin your you birthday. Could do it. You do it uh, metal style. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna do it. Thank Anyways, you guys. Thank yeah. you Ladies, guys. Bring it in. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Fusion, eternal strength. Go. Go. All right, thanks guys for watching, listening. Bye. Live and direct, we come and never pre recorded with information that will never be reported. Disregard the mainstream. Hey, y'all, this is Wes. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eternal Strength Pirate Radio. Head on over to eternalstrengthatl.com and don't forget to check out cosmiclamb.org, our 501c3 nonprofit where you can make a donation and help us fulfill the mission of bringing radical youth work to any and all families in need.